life change community. Tis the season to be jolly. Tis the season to be melancholy. I have a part-time job at Starbucks and I have been encountering people with both sets of emotions going on. Some come in as if their hair's on fire, in a hurry, on the phone, ordering their drink in hush whispers, seem to be multitasking, grab what they've ordered and whew, gone with the wind. Others come in with groups of friends and they're laughing and they seem to be enjoying their seasonal interludes and socialization. Others come in a little more thoughtful. Their walk's a little slower, they're isolated and alone. One such person was at my counter today. And a common question I ask every person is, how you doing? Now I do mean the question, but I didn't expect her answer. She confided standing there at the cash register with maybe 20 people in line behind her that her significant other had just left her suddenly yesterday and her life and her heart had broken. And with tears in her eyes, I said what I believed God was whispering for me to say, that he was close to her. More tears spilled. She thanked me for that. I didn't see her again because I had to serve the next person in line. I hope in that moment I was a voice for God to her. Here's what I know. I've said it before in this series that God is closer than we think, that God has been there the whole time, that the name Emmanuel means God with us. I don't mind repeating myself in this video series, especially with a message that's so important because if you and I miss this, we've missed Christmas. God's come close to us. A paraphrase of the Bible says this, God became a human and he moved into the neighborhood. That's what it means. God in the flesh, Jesus the Christ, born of a virgin, on planet earth, lived among men, demonstrated God's love, died sacrificially, rose from the dead victoriously. God is closer than you think. You see, whether you're happy or sad, that's important. Whether you're happy or sad, you must make a decision about the fact of that, that God is here. Do you need to turn to Him? Will you turn to Him? Is there room and space in your heart and mind to give him full room and full reign in your life? Are you busy? Do you feel happy enough without him? Or are you at a place you might even consider this Christmas? I will turn my heart to God. I hope you do. I hope this woman standing at my cash register altar today walked away and considered the nearness of God for her life. When we allow God to be as close as he wants to be to us, it will change 